What's going on, rock stars? It is your girl, the one and only, the leader of the rock stars, Talia Jeanette. And we are here with a Primark haul. I mean, it's not it's not anything crazy crazy like I didn't I, I didn't go spend as much as I normally do in Primark. I'm actually very proud of myself that I I spent very little money in Primark this past week so for those of you who are living under a rock or I guess you don't live on the East Coast or in London Primark is a store it's a chain company that i believe it's a london-based company and they have stores in massachusetts and they have a few stores in new york i go to the one in brooklyn i would like to visit staten island one but then again you know as new yorkers we we don't really go to staten island for anything unless we're driving through to get to jersey <laughs> so primark has been closed in brooklyn for the last six months due to big rona having to make a point i want to tell y'all i'm over over like super over this pandemic i'm i i cannot like this can't be the life i chose to live it's so ghetto i don't recommend it primark is finally open now what i was disappointed in one there was a line to get into Primark. Now, normally, there's ne never a line to get in anywhere in the United States. Usually, you just, you know, especially stores, you can just go in and you just have to wait online to pay. I think checking out was probably faster than me getting into the store yesterday. So, they were counting how many people they were letting into the store at the time, and then they were counting the people exiting the store. I feel that a lot of the stuff that they had out wasn't really up to date stuff like they still have an entire Harry Potter collection that I feel was in stores when they closed so I think they're just trying now to get rid of a lot of the stuff that they just have sitting on the shelves before they order any new inventory I don't know I could be wrong I could be completely wrong so let's get into what I grabbed. So I grabbed a lot of just small stuff because I'm going away in a few weeks. So first up, I grabbed makeup cleansing mitts. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I know as someone who loves playing in makeup, I have ruined my share of washcloths and my mother hates it. I am down for any type of cloth that will one exfoliate my skin and two will remove anything my cleanser did not get so normally what i would do i would wash my face with my cetaphil cleanser and then i would go over it with a washcloth to just remove anything else and a regular washcloth depending on what it's made of it may may not i don't know i do have a makeup washcloth but i feel i put this washcloth through the ringer so i'm gonna take these with me when we go away um and i think these there's three in here okay so there are three in here and it says you could just remove your makeup with just water ladies don't do that fellas if you wear makeup please don't use something to clean your face with all right next up what else did i get like i said i got a lot of just hodgepodge of stuff at this point I got a bandana head tie because I have a I have another look in mind that I want to do so I think I'm going to do that. I brought, you know what I hate about Primark? Primark is one of those places that they leave the hangers on your items when you buy them. Instead of them take like, I feel hangers when you buy stuff are so wasteful and so pointless like I totally meant to leave this with them. So I brought this caftan because I, like I said, I've gained so much weight and I feel if I'm getting in a swimming pool or if I'm just walking to a pool, 
I don't need anybody to see my rolls and everything. I brought some shapewear for the dress that I brought, but I don't know if I'm keep, I didn't buy the dress from Primark, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep this dress. I'm still, I'm very, very on the fence about it. I'm waiting, I brought it in two colors, so I'm waiting to see what the other color looks like on me before I send them both back and then have to start over with a week of time to find another dress for my sister's birthday. Isn't that lovely? All right. Um, I did get two more pair of glasses, which were, this one was 450, this one was 350. Um, and then I was just, I was amazed that like, oh, these are cute. I didn't even try these on in the store because people like, I need to sanitize these. People were in the stores actually trying on the glasses. I'm like, you know, y'all gotta pick and choose when, like if y'all scared of Corona or not, because y'all can't be talking about y'all scared of Corona and then y'all in stores trying on stuff that goes on your face. Then I brought this, this cuff, which I don't, I don't even think this is gonna fit now that I'm, oh, okay, it does. Cause y'all know I am a jewelry junkie and I live for it and that was four dollars the um the shapewear was 11 the calf tan was 12 so again we stand for Primark because Primark gives us affordability and that unfortunately is what catch gets us in trouble like me Chelsea Jessica Kayla it gets us in trouble in Primark because you're picking up stuff and you're like, oh, this is only $4. This is only $2. This is only eight bucks. This blazer is only $10. And then when you get to the register and they're like $350 and you're like, what the hell did I pick up? Like we have this thing where every time we go to Primark, we try to see who's going to spend the most. And usually Chelsea spends the most. I'm sorry, but you do every time. I think it was one time we went and I spent like $30 more than she did. But normally, Chelsea beats us out and she spends the most. Um, I got, I don't know why I brought this, but I, I guess it's just like, if we're sitting at the pool and I don't want any of my stuff to get wet, it's a little waterproof bag and it says bikini bag, but I would not put a bathing suit in this. And this was six bucks. And then there's actually, I think it might be two bags. Yeah, so it, it's this clear bag and then this little canvasy bag type of thing, so. And it's like I said, just put my phone and my stuff in and it has a little handle on it, which is always cute. And I didn't go crazy and buy clothes this time. Usually like I, I tend to buy a lot of shirts from Primark, but it was like I said, it was nothing really out. Like I already have a ton of camisoles from them that like I have a camisole damn near in every color at this point. So it was just, I didn't need any camisoles. Um, I did get this shirt, it's really cute, it's this pink shirt. It says this girl needs a nap, which at this point I always feel I need a nap and I just never get around to getting said nap, which is perfectly fine. And then I got this shirt also in pink, because y'all know I love pink. One of the few colors that I will wear clothing wise. But it says enjoy the journey, which I'm trying to do on a lot of stuff now, just taking it as it comes and enjoying the ride. Last thing, and oh, these shirts, that one was $4 and the I Need a Nap was also $4. So we stand for affordable shirts. The last thing I got was this. It's another makeup drawer. Um, I, I can't show y'all what my dress will look like right now because it's just so much stuff on it. And it's not that it's not organized. It's that it's just, I have so many products and all of it's new pretty much. Like mama like you saying, oh, throw some stuff out. I'm like, there's nothing to throw out because everything with the exception of a few, maybe a few Maybelline palettes, everything on my dresser has been purchased within the last eight or nine months and I'm not throwing it out. And I just got another palette and I'm waiting for some more, excuse me, some more skincare stuff to come in. So yeah. And so I just, I brought this because this particular drawer is actually, it's two drawers and the compartments are wider. So I can actually probably put some palettes in here. And this was $14. So the, and they're stackable. So I, I think all 
all my drawers with the exception of the two carousels that I have. All my drawers came from Primark and I have like the big lipstick holder and that's sitting on top of a two compartment drawer which has mini palettes in it, has highlighters in it. So I think I could just put this on top of that and stack the lipsticks back on top of that. So that's that's going to be a project in itself when I get around to doing it. I actually started cleaning my closet finally, but so I'm a long way, way, way far away from done with my drawer right with my closet. So, but that was it for my Primark haul. Like I said, it was nothing, nothing crazy. I like I, said, I didn't go in there intentionally to spend a lot of money this go round. So. And it was mostly accessories this time, guys. Like I said, normally I'm in there buying clothes, but I already have 50,000 pair of leggings, 50,000 pair of jogger pants. I can't wait for it to start getting cold so I can actually wear my jogger pants again because this New York City heat is not doing it for me, y'all. So, yeah, this was pretty much just accessories. Oh, this wasn't from, from this current purchase, but... I did get this water bottle from them and it says on Wednesdays we wear pink. Oh my God, if you know the vibes from the Mean Girls. And this, when I tell y'all this keeps whatever you're drinking cold or hot, you better stop playing and get you one of these Mean Girl bottles. But other than that yeah like i said guys i didn't i didn't buy a ton of stuff at primark this time so that's it um this cover that i have on i'll stand up and show you guys this was not a primark purchase i think i got this from rainbows i don't know when i brought this is this is old but i'm sitting in the house wearing it and it's just giving me vibes right now like it's giving me every every fantasy that i could have right now so Thank you guys as always for watching my, my darling rock stars. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.